So this right here is raspberry leaf tea. And it's very good for pregnant mamas, human or animal. <laughs> and hollyhock here is due tomorrow. And so is Camille. There's Camille. And I already gave hollyhock some of the tea. Um, and I just dumped their water out and replaced it with the tea. And they really like the tea. But the tea is supposed to um, help with labor pains. It's supposed to make labor a lot easier. Um, here, she loves it. She loves that stuff. That's good, isn't it, Camille? Yeah, she and all of my rabbits, really, they love the taste of the raspberry leaf tea. Do not bite me, Miss Bella Bun. Do not bite me. Ever since getting pregnant, Bella has been quite nippy. So I gotta be careful not to get bit by her. There you go, girl. She's very sweet, though. I love my Bella Bun. I can't actually tell if she's nipping because she's trying to nest with my clothes or if she's just getting aggressive. See, so look at her. <laughs> she's just, she's always been kind of nippy, but it's just gotten a little bit worse since she's been pregnant, so. She's not aggressive, she just, she's just nippy. We're not really sure why. That's good. You ready to pop them babies out? She loves it. So last time Holly had babies, she had them on the day that she was due, but she had them around one o'clock, I think. I think that's what I said. Um, so with Holly, I'm thinking that she probably, if she's gonna do it again like that, I mean, I'm gonna be home all day tomorrow, so um, hopefully I'll get to see that happen again, or at least see her go into labor and everything. Um, so I kind of know what to expect with Holly anyway. Um, she'll get really busy tonight and tomorrow morning. Look at that belly. Wonder how many you're gonna have this time, Miss Holly. And then Camille here. Camille I bought as a proven doe, so um, I've not had her have any litters here, but um, her breeder said that she had a litter and she did really well with the litter, so hopefully it goes well, but I don't really know what to expect with her since she's new here, so. But she knows she loves that tea. And then Miss Bella, Bella is due on Sunday, and I purposely did that because I was thinking if anything goes wrong with Bella's litter, then we can foster off to the other two moms. So I like how you have a piece of hay sticking out of your mouth. <laughs> You're cute, Bella Bun. I just wanted to show you guys how I set my nest boxes up. So the bottom of my nest boxes are hardware cloth. And I did this after my last litter because they tend to like to go pee in here and it makes kind of a mess and it's really hard to clean the solid wood bottom. So I ended up just sawing off the bottoms of them and putting hardware cloth on there. But um, then what I realized is that as these guys were nesting, um, like all the nesting material was falling through, even the hardware cloth. So uh, what I did now is I cut little pieces of plywood and the plywood fits in here perfectly. So now, um, once we have a litter, I can remove that plywood and I can really scrub it off good um, or throw it away and just use something else. I was gonna use cardboard for the bottom of these, but my rabbits think that cardboard is something to play with. <laughs> so um, that didn't end up working, um, but the plywood has been working really well. And so what I've done, what I always do, is I put pine shavings in here in the bottom um, usually I wait until the last minute to put the pine shavings in. If it's warm weather um, in the winter, I'll just give them pine shavings and I'll leave the pine shavings in there. But um, they've been very busy with the hay though, for sure. So they'll take the hay that I give them and Bella has actually been pulling more hair than anybody um, so far. And they just pull their hair out and they, they take the hay and they're really good about knowing how to make uh, their own nests for their babies. Here's a general 
look of how my nest boxes look and I like the design a lot. Um, I just added this lip here the last time around. When the babies are attached to the mom when they're drinking um, and the mom jumps out, if you don't have that lip there, um, they can accidentally jump out with a baby still attached. Um, so, But if you have the lip on there, it's supposed to help scrape the babies off um, so they don't end up on the wire or end up out of the nest and then um, freezing to death or just getting cold and dying. So so hopefully, hopefully by the end of this video, I will have three litters to show you guys. Um, I'm really hoping everything goes well. Sometimes with rabbits, you can't always tell if it's gonna work out. Um, I'm pretty confident in Holly um, because she did so well with her last litter. And I'm pretty confident in Bella too. Um, I think Bella's gonna do good. Camille is really the only one that I'm not 100% sure about just because um, I've never witnessed her have a litter um, and I don't I don't have a really good feel on her personality other than she's a bit flighty still um, she's not really personable like my others so um, I'm just hoping that she doesn't get scared and I don't want anything to happen um, with her getting scared and then like aborting or anything like that I don't think she will <laughs> she's still enjoying her tea so my mamas are definitely building their nests now. <laughs> they, uh, these two are due either tonight or tomorrow. She'll take all of that hay in there. She'll make a nice little nest for her babies. But she's ready to pop. That's a good girl, Camille. Hollyhock, are you ready? Are you ready to do this again? I swear, I think that Holly is happiest when she has a litter of babies. <laughs> Ow. You are so big, Camille. Looks like Bella Bun is joining in again. top row full of busy mamas, that's for sure. I could really watch them do this for hours. I think that it's so much fun to watch. But hopefully tomorrow morning, if all goes well, hopefully we will have two litters of babies tomorrow. So crossing our fingers. Hey my babe. So, how many babies is Hollyhock going to have? How many babies? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with nine. Okay, she had seven last time. You think nine? It could definitely be nine. Okay. I'm not committed to it. I just, I needed to say a number. How many do you think Camille's going to have? Camille, nine. You think Camille's going to have nine yeah, too? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so nine and nine. You think yeah. you're going to have 18? Yes, 18 <laughs> oh babies. Oh my gosh. What about, um... Bella's not due until Sunday. Nine. Jameson, you can't keep saying nine. We're gonna have 27 rabbits. Well, there you go. Why'd you ask me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it looks silly. Camille had her babies. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go out and count them and we have apples for her. <laughs> So this is what we wake up to this morning. Just a little bit of an explosion. And Camille's cage. Girl. She acts like she's really tired. Jameson, put the apple like, well let her smell it and then try to put it like nest next to the nest box. So she'll go over there. You want that? Alright Camille, let's see. Get back with your babies. So, see the movement? I see a little movement. Oh, look at it. They're all black. I wonder if they're all going to be black like silver foxes. Make sure everybody looks okay. We have, looks like a girl. 
really. All right, be careful, babe. This one's got an interesting color to it. Look at that. It's like got, it's gonna have like a lighter head and a lighter back, and the ears are like pink inside. Let's dig in. <laughs> Look at that one's bottom. It's got like a pink, like, it's like all black on the top and then it's pink underneath. They're, they are different. I thought they were all going to be the same, but they're all kind of different. That looks like a boy. This is a big litter. Oh my gosh. Gosh. There's so many. Oh my gosh. Wait, how many are in there already? I thought you put like six in there. There's at least four left. This is a big litter. So we got one, two, three, four, come here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think there's ten. Okay. I don't, unless somebody's piled on top of somebody else. Yeah, there's 10. Wow, that's a big litter. That's exciting. I love it. She's like, where's my baby? Go. Oh. Baby, get me out. 10 babies from Camille. <laughs> And last time Holly had babies, she waited until like one in the afternoon, so. You gonna have them today? I'm not gonna give you any more hay. You have so much. You get just as excited as our puppos do. Yeah, she, she knows she just had babies and she knows that that means treats. She's a good girl. I love Miss Holly. Here. Why don't you just put it in her bowl? Because I want her to go over there so she's not in my way. That makes sense. What a good girl she is. She's my favorite. Look at these, Jameson. Oh my gosh, did she have 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We already have 20. Oh my gosh. I should have boosted up my guess. Oh my gosh. I should have just rounded up to 10. Then you would have looked at me and be like, how did you know? Let's make sure they're all okay. Well, well now we have to have one litter of seven so we can be like the exact amount I predicted. Here, get close to that. Look at little baby. Little baby, newborn, probably only, what, 30, 40 minutes old? Dang, you young. They're so cute. So cute. They're like little aliens when they're first born. Look how little. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my There's God. eleven. There's not ten. <laughs> there, there's eleven of them. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven. <laughs> Twenty-one. <laughs> Twenty-one. <laughs> oh my gosh, James. Twenty-one rabbits. Wow, these are really big litters. She was big that time, so. <laughs> Bella hasn't had her litter yet. So it is, is it like 10.30 on Sunday? Today's Bella's due date and she hasn't had her babies yet. So I know she's pregnant. She's fat. Come here, Bella. She's a very large bun bun. Definitely got a fat pregnant belly. Just late on her due date. So maybe, maybe she's like Holly. It's Holly. Usually has them at like two on her due date, so, but yeah.
and go figure we're not gonna be home today hardly at all so when we come back maybe we'll see baby bunnies but that's what's up so Bella um, this today's her due date um, but she has decided today is not the day um, and sometimes that happens I haven't had that happen in a long time actually so um, I'm not super worried about her because she's still nesting and she's still acting fine so this will be her first litter so I'm just thinking that she is just taking her time um, I, if I had to guess I would probably guess that she will have them in the middle of the night or in the morning but I would be lying if I said that I wasn't just a little bit impatient um, I'm just gonna come out here in the morning and hopefully by then we will have a little babies so wish us luck yeah what you got you keep putting it in taking it out it's just never good enough for you you're a perfectionist all right guys it's Monday morning um, day 32 and it looks like it looks like Bella has had her babies so there's a little bit more blood than usual on the lip of the nest box so um, but she looks like she's okay I look I just peeked into the tarp so um, I'm gonna go ahead and open it all up and feed them and then I'm gonna take the nest box out and see the babies all right so the thing about Bella is that she is still very very hungry so she's doing good um, but that is typically a little bit more blood than I would like to see um, but it looks like she has had her babies and put them in a nest in the very back. So I'm really hoping that they're alive. I'm going to take them out now and check. Oh, they are warm. That's a good sign. Hey guys, my hands are cold. They're moving around. They're warm and they're moving around. Very happy about that. They all look fed. They all look really fat and happy that I've picked up so far. And this looks like a big litter too. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more baby bunnies. <laughs> That's a good treat, huh, Mama? Such a good job you did. Yeah, such a good job you did. All right guys, it is Tuesday evening and I just thought I would give the does some time to sort of just settle in with their new babies and everybody's doing amazingly um, and we've had no casualties. Um, so yeah, we have 31 baby bunnies, um, three mamas and everybody's doing amazing. So um, I couldn't be more grateful, honestly. I, this was, uh, so much more than I expected out of the bunny boom. So <laughs> so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Um, for me, it's been more like five days, <laughs> but um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.